Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> I'm home, so <clears throat> I just got out of the shower. You can tell by my wet hair. But yeah, last night I went to the Lincolnton Hospital about 3:30, and they did test on me and poked and prodded me, and they told me uh, I needed my appendix out. So I said, you know what? I'll go to Mercy Hospital in Charlotte because they are an awesome hospital and I know them because my dad's been there tons of times and they're like family to us literally that's how many times my dad's been there <clears throat> and uh I got there this morning sick as a damn dog and they took tests so I waited on that tons and tons of times while I was watching a uh, soap net I only watch it because the OC and Winter Hills on that okay I swear I swear it and now to a note Okay. God, that confession. I've been holding that for at least a couple of hours. The weight of the world is off my shoulders. Anyway, uh, the test came back and everything was positive. I had nothing wrong with me. And they said my appendix is probably was swollen and it did not need to be taken out. So if I would have went to Lingerton instead of Mercy Hospital this morning, they would have took a pen my appendix out that probably did not need to be taken out to begin with. So the Mercy Hospital people said that their lack of doctoring, that's what they call it, doctoring, sucked. That's what my doctor said, they sucked. And I'm thinking, what do you think I should do? Do you think I should sue or leave it alone? I mean, you tell me what you think I should do. Because I could have had surgery for no, un for no reason at all. But they gave me a cortisone shot, I think that's what they called it. I feel like I'm on heaven. I mean, yeah. I'm not that high, so, I mean, I know what I'm doing and talking about, okay? I know how to function a computer. Oh, I mean, computer, okay? But you tell me what I need to do, but I'm... I literally... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I literally cried this morning with Mom because she brought my laptop here for me to uh, use it. I was like... You, 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 be, be, be. I was so happy she did it. <clears throat> and I read all the comments, and she said, Kenny... There's some nice people in this world, and you found them. Uh, as I started crying, I'm thinking, I never had that much outpouring ever in my life. Not even through high school when I broke uh, my collarbone. But that was no biggie. I thought it was broke, but it didn't. But no sympathy was like I have on YouTube. And I don't even know you people just by videos. And y'all make me feel more important than anybody else I've ever dealt with in my life. And you don't know how much that really means to me and how much you treat somebody is worth more than anything in the world and I want to thank every one of you for that and yes I lost two subscribers but what I want to say is I'm trying to reach at least a hundred subscribers I got 55 I had 57 but I lost two but if I reach a hundred subscribers I'm gonna do a contest I'm gonna do a contest and yeah uh, I'm gonna do a contest and just one of y'all will win any DVD you want. I'll buy you the DVD. Any DVD you want. Not a season set like, you know, like Full House or something. It's like 150 bucks. Okay, because I can't do that. I got bills. But like any DVD, a movie you want, I'll do it. <clears throat> if I reach 100 subscribers. That's probably nothing, but that's all I can do right now. But I had a request, and I'm going to do it right now if I don't run out of time. I got an eye bugger. I hate eye buggers. Beggars. But <clears throat> somebody asked me where I was from before I do this con for before I do this uh request. Uh they said they love my southern voice, my southern hospitality. I was born and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. And then I moved up here during my eighth grade year. I moved up to Iron Station, North Carolina. I then moved to Lincolnton and then moved back to Iron Station. I've been here in Iron Station for about eight years now. And that's about it. I am a country boy. I'm a country boy at heart. But like I said, I could be your best friend. But you fuck with me or my family or my friends. 
huh. I will cut and kill you, then ask questions later. That's how I roll. Like I said, my family, friends, and everybody that's important to me come first. But that's why I'm saying I can be your best friend. I can give you the shirt off my back if you needed it. And that's just me. But don't cross me. That's what I'm just that's the way I am, but I'm still a southern boy at heart. At heart. Do you see the heart anywhere? If you see the heart, let me know. Okay, I'm going to stop being a goober. And the request <coughs> is for this. And yes, I do have it. Mm. Uh, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer collection. It is the complete chosen collection. Uh, 40 discs. And when you open it, la, 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 la. <laughs> this is what comes out of it. See, see how beautiful. And each disc, first you get uh, the chosen collection shows you know every episode, and tells you all about it. And yeah, uh, you get an extra bonus disc with uh, five Oni Futurettes, Love Bites. Just yeah, you can read it. Yeah. And you get this right here from Josh Whedon, who created Buffy. You get a, a note. I like the last bit of it. It says, this show, seven years of it, is a living thing. Put it on your shelf and go to bed. It'll whisper to you in your sleep. So when I first bought it, I was like, <laughs> did you hear that? I was like, oh. But no, it was just me. I was, I was crazy. But here's disc one. Short, because it's only uh, nine, I think, yeah, um... 12 episodes because they didn't know if it was do good but that's my cousin uh right here and you open it and it's buffy and i know if you don't want to see this you can go ahead and cut off now but i promised them i would do the each disc this is season two see it marks it in its own little disc which is awesome and you open it up, and it's the complete second season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, here is season three. And you open it up, and same thing. Now, if you want to know, you know how my light back here has been, like, bright? I changed them today to a new uh, thing. It was it's to help energy, to help the earth, whatever. And I really like it. It makes my room brighter. Here's season four. This one I don't like so much, but I still bought the collection. I've watched every season over and over. I just might watch them tonight. I don't care. Season five. And I'm telling you right now, I don't care what you say. You can be judgmental, but... Oh! Let's try that again. All right, there we go. Uh, and season five, the season finale, where she died, Buffy died... I cried like a baby because I thought the show was over. And then I found out they did a season six. So it's like, -hoo -hoo -hoo. and let me get, that is my girl. I have all her movies and everything. Yeah, but season seven is down here. It's just too much to do, but I will talk to you guys later. I love you so much. Peace, love, and chicken grease.